This video is an experiment, so please bear with me. A lot of my suggested videos these days are about parenting, being a new mom and stuff, because I am a new mom. I notice a lot of parents are oversharing their children to the internet, things that should really just be private, like relieving yourself in your diaper or having a tantrum or crying because your grandpa's passed away. I feel like those kinds of things should just not be shared. At least when you're a kid and you can't consent to that. Oversharing for yourself, like, go ahead, I'm all for that. But oversharing on behalf of your child doesn't look good. Now, showing your child to the internet in general is a topic for a whole other video. I just wanted to focus on parents or caregivers or whoever sharing, like, private moments specifically. I'm going to show you some things that I found without actually showing you because I don't want to go exposing it even more. So please don't mind my obscene editing of these videos. I'm trying to get the point across without actually showing you. And the first category that I've seen way too many times is children in diapers actively going in their diaper. Here's one of many. My 10 month old was constipated, then tries to fight me and I help. She says she's trying to help. She's got her phone like two inches from her face going, you can do it, you can do it. She's 10 months old. I feel like there's a few other ways you can try and help without doing that. And then going further and posting it. This video currently has 40,000 saves. Here's the next one. So they're in a doctor's office or something and the kid's like going into the corner the mom's asking i'm assuming it's the mom over and over again like are you gonna poop are you gonna poop the kid's like no he's going to hide and then she's got all these captions like pointing out what his face is doing what his body language is doing just way too much and at the end it says we have officially reached the hide and poop stage Hiding from you, which I'm assuming is like the mom. Setting is relatively private already. I mean, it's not private, but if you're his mom, it's a closed doctor's office and he's hiding there. So then you take that further and film it and now everyone can see it. And at the time that I screen recorded this one, it has 10,000 likes and the comments are turned off. A lot of these videos, the comments are turned off. So you know people are pointing this out and they ignore it and just turn the comments off and keep the video up because it has all these plays and likes and saves. The next one is just straight up a baby on the potty. Potty, can you go potty? Yeah. Go poo poo? Yeah, go poo poo? And that's the whole video. I don't even have anything clever to like say about this. Just don't post this. Imagine doing this to like an adult or like an older kid. If you saw someone sitting on the toilet, would you go take your phone and then put that on the internet? No, you would not. Looking at these videos, it's like comical how much I had to blur out just to feel comfortable showing you but not showing you. This one says almost potty trained but scared of the bathroom on the plane. So he's standing on his seat in the plane, everyone around and going to the bathroom there. <laughs> At the beginning, you can see someone else filming this in the back, so you have two angles of this, thankfully. And it's not embarrassing enough that this boy has to do this in front of the people on the plane. I'm sure he doesn't want to, but now everyone on the internet can see it, and it has 90,000 likes. So the next one, this woman has posted a video of her son peeing on the outside of his diaper. That's what happens when you keep calling your willy out, Janafi. Clear as day, just standing there, and then she says, this is what happens when you take your... I don't even want to say it. Over 100,000 likes, 5,000 saves. The next one is the worst one, I can't. It's this woman's godson from the caption and it says, he's trying to hide. It says, coaching my godson trying to get a hard mm, out. That's already too much. The caption's already too much. This video was so long, I cut so much out of it. <laughs> Get it out. Oh, it hurt, huh? Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, oh, come on. You got this. <laughs> All right, we got it out. Turn around. 
Let me show them. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Look. Oh. I just had to blur that entire thing. She's doing like a close up of his diaper showing how full it got. And you know, I get it. I get filming it if you want to like send it to his mom or keep it in the family. Just have it. I don't know. But it's the posting it. I can't go over the posting it online. I was shocked that I witnessed this video. I felt just like I was violating him by seeing this. You have no idea who's liking these, who's saving these, who's screen recording these like I did. It's in my hands. I feel weird about this being in my hands. You just don't know people's intentions. It's cute and it's funny for most people. Admittedly, I think bathroom humor is funny, but these are kids in really vulnerable positions and just should be private. I'm gonna be a broken record, but come on. Okay, I'm done with the bathroom talk. The next one's really sad. It shows two photos and a video. It's a family visiting a cemetery. I'm assuming his grandfather passed away. It's this little boy. The first two pictures, little boy's crying, and then it's a video of him crying and hugging someone. And I cut it early because it's kind of long. And it's sad, I feel really sorry for this little boy. He's obviously hurting, but it's for sad views, it is. If you want these memories for yourself, filming it, the photos, like do all that. But you're putting it on the internet for sad views and kids are sensitive. They just might not want that on the internet. This one's less intense than the bathroom stuff from before, um, but it's still a child in a vulnerable situation and and like, have you seen, I can't remember which family vlogger it was, but they filmed telling their kids that, I don't know, someone has passed away and they filmed it and they posted it and it's like a thing people do for likes. Okay, the next category, filming your kids while they're having a tantrum. Also, can we take note how many of these are filmed while the parent is driving? First one's a mom, she's going to the doctor, she's got her two kids with her and they, she films the whole doctor's thing and then at the end, the kid's crying on the ground. That went absolutely horrible. So at the end, the kid's crying on the ground. She's got her phone out. She's like, come on. And then it cuts to her in the car driving. And she's like, that went horrible. This is why we stay home. It can be nice to see other parents showing their daily lives, doing mundane things when the kids are acting out and you're just having a hard time. You can just mention, oh, my kid was upset. It's like every little thing is just seen as content. Oh, kids crying on the ground, content, get the phone out. Like if I saw someone doing that, if I saw someone having their phone out, filming their kid crying on the ground in public, I would think that's odd, would you not? Here's the next one. So little PSA to anyone who's thinking about having that second baby, don't because this baby sucks so much, he cries so much. I'm assuming that means you're, this kid is your second kid and you're obviously joking. Besides the point of filming your kid crying and posting it, imagine your kid grows up a little bit, sees this on the internet. Mom said don't have a second kid because of me. Kids don't really get humor like that. So I just hope this kid never sees this. Here's another. If your child is throwing a tantrum, start recording them with the front camera so they can see how they're acting. It works like a germ. So this kid is saying no and he's like hiding behind a shoe and the camera is there. I know that's what the point of this is, is to show the child they're being crazy. And I get kids have tantrums, they are ridiculous. If this hack works for you, that's amazing. However, you don't have to post it. The comments on this one are at least calling her out. Please, they are saying to not film them, so don't. It's honestly just teaching them that if you tell someone to stop, they aren't gonna listen. The poster says, I've never thought to myself, I'm gonna comment on someone's video and tell them not to do something. Crazy world we live in. Common sense ain't so common. So you know, you know the type of person that this person is. They're kind of going back and forth. They're like, I'm the mother. My three-year-old doesn't make the rules. Let me guess, if he wants gender reassignment surgery, I should let him do that. Like they always go to the most extreme thing. Like this is not, that's not the same at all. 
So they, uh, they argue back and forth. I'll show you the comments. And then someone right below them comments, record it, don't post it, big difference. And then the person like liked the comment. Just craziness. So that's it. If you really want to film this stuff, go for it. Just don't post it. That's my message, don't post it. And I know this is like not what I do on my channel, but I just wanted to talk about it because if we talk about it, hopefully we see less of this stuff. I do have more videos, but my baby is starting to wake up. So, but let me know if you want to see more of this because I'm like getting in a groove. I was such a sensitive child too. If I was like 10 years old and saw that this kind of stuff about me was on the internet, I would be crying. That's all I got. Bye.